God be the glory after praying. Uh, biglang lumabas yung wifi. To God be the glory. God is an answering prayer. Uh, God is an answering God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Andito po yung aking uh, anak, Bunsong anak, that will uh, lead us into worship today. Praise God. At ang uh, sa, sa, po, ministry namin sa music, uh, nakasama din po natin si Brother JC. No? Uh, we'll just have a, a time of worship today. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. We worship you, Lord. Lord, you are good and your mercy endure forever. Lord, you are good and your mercy endure forever. Lord, you are good and your mercy endureth forever. Lord, you are good and your mercy endureth forever. From generation to generation, we worship you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we worship you, for who you are, you are good, amen. Lord, you are good in your mercy, endure it forever. Lord, you are good and your mercy endure forever. <coughs> From generation to generation, we worship you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we worship you. For who you are, we worship you. Yes, hallelujah, hallelujah, we worship you. For who you are, you are good. Thank 
Celebrate, Lord, every time that we come together and worship in praise. It's a happy day, Father God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Let's worship the Lord now. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father God. We worship you, Lord. Father God, we bless you. So 
Hallelujah. 
Panginoon, salamat mo Diyos dahil kayo ang aming victory. Kayo, Lord, ang aming tagumpay sa buhay namin. Lord, we bless you that, Lord, um, as we celebrate, Father God, even, Lord, yung uh, ginagawa namin every night na, na communion, Lord, from 6 o'clock, every day, Lord, because we know that this is just a, a prophetic move to uh, apply, Lord, the blood of Jesus, the blood of the Lamb, so that, Lord, we will be protected from the works of the enemy. Just like what happened, Panginoon, the time of Moses, Lord, when you instructed Moses, Father God, that every door will be put, lalagyan, Panginoon, ng blood, so that, Lord, the angel of death will pass over. Yes! Panginoon, and so, as we do this, Lord, the communion time, every six o'clock in the evening, we declare, Lord, that you, that this plague, this pestilence, this sickness, this virus, will not able, Lord, to penetrate every Christian family, oh God. Amen. So Lord, we thank you, we love you, we bless you today, Lord. We also pray for our brothers and sisters in Italy, Lord. Every family, we pray that you will protect them, Lord, from the works of the enemy. Lord, that every, the blood of Jesus, Lord, will always be, Panginoon, in every door of this family, every house, Lord. That the works of the enemy, the angel of death, will pass over, Lord, every Jesus, family yes. in Italy, O oh God, in Jesus' in name. Jesus. Every family represents you, yes. Lord. They will be uh, uh, protected from the works of the enemy. Father, we thank you, we bless you, we worship you today, Father God, as we celebrate the Sunday worship time and study of your word. Thank you for Pastor Don Don in, their, in, in his congregation. We pray that you will bless each one of them, Lord, in the name of Jesus. This is our prayer, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Come on, let's give God a clap for me. Amen, hallelujah. Let's give God a clap for me. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Again, I'd like to, uh, to thank uh, again Pastor Don Don for uh, letting us be part of your service this uh, morning. Uh, I know that God has a purpose. This is, this is, not, this is not an accident. This is, this is orchestrated by God. Hallelujah. Orchestrated by God. Can I just imagine, no? kaninang hapon lang po kami, kanina lang uh, two hours ago, uh, nang kami po ay mag-usap ni Pastor Don Don. And uh, we just have a time, you know, and then he, he asked me to uh, be able to spare a uh, good time sa bawat isa po sa inyo tonight. So, to God be the glory. Ano po? Uh, bless your heart. Amen. Bless your heart. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless your heart. Amen. So, this, this, this evening, this morning, kanina po sa aming pong uh, service, um, we had a beautiful time of studying the Word. At uh, in times like this, ano po, na we are we are actually in a in a very difficult situation in the Philippines. Now in Palawan, actually a few weeks ago, we are a, a, a COVID-free province, a COVID-free province, and so we are relaxed, very relaxed. But uh, our congregation, we uh, started to do a communion for 30 days already, more than 30 days already, because uh, we believed that. Uh, uh, yung pong uh, Passover, na po, yung naalala uh, po natin during the time of Moses. This is a prophetic move na ginawa po namin na we will do a communion time representing the blood of Jesus as we have the communion time every 6 o'clock in the evening. We believe that the works of the enemy will not prevail in every family no? na represented po namin sa Axe Family Church. And also we pray that uh, this will extend to the other families, especially, no? especially in the family po na represented po ng uh, kanyang, uh, kanyang pamilya, yung anak po ng Panginoon. Amen. And so we are so blessed. But uh, just last night, medyo, ano, medyo nagkaroon po ng nasyak po ang buong probinsya dahil uh, meron pong namatay na positive po sa COVID-19. 
first death, no? I mean the first positive sa COVID-19 uh, sa buong Palawan. So so we started to to really pray more that uh, in in times like this, no po, ay wala pong uh, ma magkakaroon hindi ho magkakaroon ng problema with respect po sa sa God's family. Alam po ninyo, uh, we we believe na ang protection po ng Lord is with, we will be uh, it will be with us. Amen. Amen. Let's declare this every day. Amen. So this this uh, morning, diyan po sa inyo, evening na po dito sa amin, I like to share about uh, in just to encourage us, no? Encourage po tayo yung pong uh, salitang let's keep moving. No po. Uh, in spite po ng nangyari po sa atin uh, nationwide, uh, worldwide. Alam ko po diyan po sa Italy ay grabe po yung uh, nangyari. But we thank God kayo po ay uh, nakaka-recover na po from that uh, pestilence. Mm -hmm. And uh, we thank God that you are all safe no, up to now. We thank God for that. So thank you for the blood of Jesus that covers you. Ngayon po dito po sa akin pong gusto i-share, this is a short sharing time. Um, I was encouraged na in spite ng nangyayari po ngayon, sabi po ng Panginoon, let, let's keep moving. Ako? We will not uh, be affected by what's happening around the world, uh, even in our own personal life. No po, ang akin pong prayer, Lord, let keep us moving. No po, tuloy-tuloy po tayo. Amen. So, Nagamitin po natin yung uh, uh, scripture sa 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 5. No, doon po tayo uh, magpo-focus ngayong, ngayong araw na ito. Sabi po ni Paul kay Timothy, Well, this is a time where Paul was actually in prison. Siya po ay nakakulong. And uh, I was so encouraged that in spite of his being in prison, he continues to encourage Timothy, no? ang kanyang isang anak sa pananampalataya. Sabi po niya kay Timothy, But you be watchful in all things. You endure afflictions, do the work of an evangelist, and fulfill your ministry. This is in New Kings, New King James Version. Um, sa ibang version po, sabi po niya doon, As for you, always be sober, minded, endure suffering, do the work of an evangelist, and fulfill your ministry. I will be just discussing four things tonight or this morning sa inyo po. Four things that we have to keep moving. No po? Ang una po, ang sabi po ni Pablo kay Timothy, be watchful in all things. Be watchful in all things. I believe this is a timely message for us now that we will be watchful. No? Dahil po, grabe po ang nangyayari sa mundo ngayon. I believe this is just the, the beginning of birth pains. So sabi nga po ng, ng scripture, ito daw po yung simula pa lang ng uh, pagsakit ng chan ng isang mga nganak na babae. No? Birth pangs, ikana ang tawag po natin. So it will probably take a, a, a few months more. Sabi nga, bago lumabas yung baby, there will be more times of uh, pains. Ano po? So, the preparation ng ating pong pag-watch sa buhay po natin as Christians ay napaka-importante po. But the first thing I'd like us to be to concentrate is yung pong una natin dapat tignan, i-watch sa atin ay yung ating pong mga sarili. Let's watch about ourselves. Sabi ko nga po, ito pong time ng COVID-19 is a time of cleansing. Ito po. This is a time of uh, evaluating our Christian life. Nasaan ba tayo as Christians? Nasaan ba tayo ngayon? Alam po ninyo, dito ho sa Pilipinas, dito ho sa atin, nakakalungkot po, marami nagsasabi, kami ay 10,000, 40,000, 50,000, uh, you know, every time they confess the number of their membership, malulula po kayo. But the problem is, it seems that we don't have any impact in our community. In spite of the thousands and thousands of membership, nakakalungkot po, wala po tayong impact in the whole nation. That's the problem. So, I believe ito pong time natin today is a time of evaluating ourselves. We have to watch ourselves. 
At sana po ba tayo, ano po yung measurement natin of our relationship with God? Sabi po ng Mark 14 verse 38, Watch and pray, lest you enter into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Now I believe, brothers and sisters, kayo po dyan sa Italy, kami rito sa Pilipinas. Ito po ang isa po sa mga nami-miss ng maraming Christians is yung pong ministry of watching and praying. Ano po? Nakakalungkot po na marami pong churches ay wala pong passion for prayer. Wala pong, wala pong heart to pray. Now the Lord sent this COVID-19 so that Christians will be redirected. Maridirect po tayo from our business in all our things, the things that we do. Now the Lord locked down. He locked down tayo ng Lord. No, sa tawag na namin dito eh na community quarantine ho kami dito, no? No choice but to stay in the house. No choice but to stay in one place. Imagine, sanay ho tayo lumabas palagi, outing, na sessions, everything, no? But this time, the Lord says, let let yourself be there in lockdown tayo ng Lord. Upang sa ganun, we can watch and Great. evaluate ourselves and pray in evil way. So that we will we will not be able to fall into many temptations. Now during this lockdown, we have experienced away from temptation of this world, and it's it, it feel it, it make us feel holy, no? Parang parang andayo dayo natin sa sa contamination of the world. Just imagine you we are out, we cannot go anywhere. So there is no contamination of the world. The temptation of the world is so far from away from us. Mm-hmm. And and this is an opportunity, brothers and sisters, an opportunity for us to really pray and watch what's gonna happen in the in the next few days and few years. So we have learned that we can stand pala. Now we realize that we can we can stand, now we can we can overcome the 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 temptation of the world. Kailangan lang pala is for us to learn how to get away from it. We have to decide to personally lock down yung buhay natin from the ways of the world. Because for almost a month now, hallelujah, almost two months already, na nagawa, kaya naman din pala natin, no? yung ganitong klase ng buhay, na malayo tayo sa mga earthly activities, worldly activities that contaminates our relationship with the Lord. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Amen. So we were trained to watch and pray. While we are in times of ECQ, no? Um, uh, now we know how important to have a personal lockdown so we can spend time wisely with the Lord and pray. Now Jesus taught his disciples the importance of watching in the last days. God be the glory. He warned them about the world system and tell them to watch. Sabi po niya sa Luke chapter 21, verse 35 to 37. Hallelujah. I hope uh, you are enjoying this. Huh? Amen. Sabi po sa Luke 21. Hallelujah. <coughs> Sabi po sa Luke 21, 35 to 37. I was just an, an encouraged po ako, na-challenge po ako eh. Sabi sa 35, 37 ng Luke 21. But take heed to yourselves, lest your hearts be weighed down with carousing. Yung pong word na carousing po dyan, yan po ang ibig sabihin po niyan is partying celebrations. Drunkenness, cares of this life, and that they come on you unexpectedly. Ito ang matindi rito sa, ano eh, sa, sa waste of the world. No? Uh, minsan, hinuhuli lang tayo. Eh, no? mm-hmm. Now, sabi ni, sabi ni Pablo kay Timothy, <clears throat> take heed to yourselves, lest your hearts be weighed down with carousing with partying, with celebrations, drunkenness, and cares of this life, and that they come on you unexpectedly. Mm-hmm. For it will come as a snare on all those who dwell on the face of the whole earth. Verse 36, sabi po niya, Watch therefore and pray always. Imagine, watch therefore and pray always that you may be counted worthy to escape all these things that will come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Now, God 
Paul, Paul is giving instructions to Timothy. Sabi niya, Timothy, you have to watch therefore and pray always. Mm -hmm. That you may be counted worthy to escape all things that will come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Paul is saying to Timothy, time will come, you will be standing in the, in the face in front of God. But when you able to overcome, when you, when you watch and pray, sabi niya, you will be counted worthy to escape all things that will come to pass. Hallelujah! Palipakan natin ang Panginoon. Amen. To God be the glory. Huh? To God be the glory. To God be the glory. Jesus is very much concerned of us because He wants us to finish the race. I want to encourage you, brothers and sisters in Italy. Jesus, Jesus is very much concerned of all of us because He wants us to finish the race. That no one will be deceived and fall away. We have to watch this, brothers and sisters. Nakakalungkot po. Ang dami na pong, ang dami na pong uh, mga leaders, churches, na nagpo-fall away po. No? Marami na pong mga pastors committing suicide. Marami pong mga leaders now they are no longer in the ministry. No? Marami na pong leaders uh, is full of stress, depression. Now, and God, ayaw ng Lord na this will be this will be our experience also. Kaya sabi niya, let's keep on moving. Let's watch and pray. Hallelujah. So that we will be counted worthy to escape all these things that will come to pass. And 1 Corinthians chapter 10, 16, verse 13. Sabi po doon, watch, stand fast in the faith. Be brave. Be strong. Let all that you do be done with love. Amen. What a powerful word from the Lord. Hallelujah. What a powerful word. 1 Corinthians 16, 13. Watch, stand fast in the faith. Be brave and be strong. So that's the first one. No? Sabi ng Panginoon, let's keep on moving. Ang una pong sinabi ni, ni Paul kay Timothy, be watchful. Yung second na dapat po natin bigyan ng panahon na magbasig, ay ang kanya pong pagbabalik na muli. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Wag po nating wag po nating i-take for granted ito pong ito pong ito pong mensahe na na ito na tayo po ay kinakailangang magbasid sa pagdating po ng ating Panginoon. Lapunin niyo, I know you know this. I know Pastor Don Don is sharing this to you. We are we are in the last days. Alam po natin 'yan. We've been always saying that. Pero I want to tell you this brothers and sisters, sabi nga ng ibang mga prophets, teachers, it is already at the front door. It's, all, it's already there, no? Uh, uh, and if we look on the scriptures, Matthew chapter 24 is no longer a warning, a prophecy. It's already happening. It is already fulfilled. It's already a fulfillment. Fulfillment na po yung Matthew 24. Mm -hmm. Alam po ba ninyo na sa Matthew 24 po, isa na lang po ang kinakailangan matapos. Yung pong Matthew 24:14. And this gospel will be preached as a testimony to many nations. Hallelujah. And then the end will come. And so, and, and, and the process of evangelism today is so fast. Mm. Brothers and sisters, ang, ang, ang ating pong evangelistic movement, hindi na po problema. Kagaya na lang po ngayon. Can you imagine na sa Italy po kayo, ako nandito sa Pilipinas, sa Palawan. Mm -hmm. The beautiful, the, the last frontier sa atin po sa Pilipinas. No po? Sabi nga daw po, dito nga raw po dababa si Jesus Christ eh. Sa second coming. <laughs> logi kami ah. Uh, ah, logi kayo dyan. <laughs> Kasi marami kami dito El Nido, marami kami Coron, hmm. no? dami mga gandang beaches. No? And uh, wow, the last frontier. Sabi nga. But brothers and sisters, let's not take for granted this, uh, this, uh, this uh, uh, sabi ng Panginoon that we have to watch and pray of his of his coming. Lang po ninyo, the second coming of the Lord is uh, uh marami hong pinag-uusapan na natin sa no, talaga minsan ayaw lang nilang pag-usapan kasi sabi nila tagal na natin sa sabi, is coming, is coming, is coming pero wala namang coming, coming, no? Hmm. My brothers and sisters, ako po ay 
hindi naniniwala, naniniwala na wag ho natin itong bigyan ng focus kasi sabi nga niya, is like is like a tip in the night. Bigla lang hong darating yan. No? At right. yan po ang nakakatakot. So, <clears throat> sabi nga po, ang nangyayari sa atin ho ngayon ay isang babala sa pagbabalik ng ating Panginoon. And if you study the scripture in Matthew chapter 24, nakalagay po dyan yung isang sign po dyan is just yung, yung pestilence po. No? Yung plague na darating. Yung pong uh, pandemic. No? Yan po ay yan po ay uh, uh, isa sa mga signs of his coming at sabi pa nga ni Sado I, 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 I think you you know that the new uh, prophetic uh, uh, declaration ni Sado that uh, si Sado po I know you know him si Sado po siya po yung nagprophesy about the uh, uh, yung pong Yolanda yung pong earthquake sa Japan yung pong uh, 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 earthquake sa na nangyari po sa Bohol. No, ang dami po niyang mga prophetic declaration na nangyari po sa atin sa Pilipinas. No? At ang sabi po ni Sado, ang sabi niya, I don't want to make you become fearful because sabi niya, the next coming pandemic, sabi niya, eh, walang medicine, walang, walang hindi daw madidiscovery yung, yung, ano, yung gagamitin panggamot. No? And this will be a difficult situation, more difficult than COVID-19. Sabi ko, Lord, I pray na nasa heaven na ako that time. Kasama, awan ko lang, baka kung kayo gusto nyo sa heaven na rin, Jory, pag dumating yan, no? Amen. Sa akin, sabi ko, Lord, please, I don't want to experience that anymore. Mm-hmm. Kaya kung maaari, mag-rapture time na bago dumating yan. Amen, Amen ba? No? Amen. <clears throat> mag-rapture na bago dumating yung susunod na pandemic. Kasi dito pa lang sa COVID-19, grabe na eh. How much more yung sinasabi ni Sado na there will be, sabi niya, mapupuno raw tayo ng pigsa sa buong katawan. And we will feel too much heat. Sabi nga niya, ano eh, more than 40, more than 40 degrees centigrade. Yung feeling ng heat sa ating katawan, no? Uh, I don't know if you know that, no? Siguro, I, I know you have that uh, pro- prophetic uh, declaration ni Sado. If not, I can send it to you, no? I can send it to you. But anyway, uh, hindi naman tayo tinatakot ni Sado, eh. Pero, Mas mabuti nang takutin tayo kasi minsan ano eh yung mga Christians pawardi-wardi lang eh no parang hindi na darating si Jesus <coughs> no pero mas maganda na yung may may, may, may tinatakot tayo eh maraming Christians hindi na natatakot eh no pero praise God ang mga Kristiyano sa Italy alam ko may fear of God amen amen, amen. God bless you amen. amen praise the Lord so sabi po sa 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 1 to 5, sabi, But concerning the times and seasons, brethren, you have no need that I should write to you. For you yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so comes as deep in the night. So when they say peace and safety, then sudden destruction comes upon them as labor pains upon a pregnant woman and they shall not escape. Listen to this, brothers and sisters. They shall not escape. Therefore, verse 6, sabi niya, therefore, let us not sleep as others do, but let us watch and be sober. Hallelujah. Yan po yung challenge ng ating pong kapatid na si Pablo. Therefore, let us not sleep as others do, but let us watch and be sober. Italian brothers and sisters in the Lord, let us not sleep as others do, but let us watch and be sober. Hallelujah. First Peter chapter 4, verse 7 to 11. <clears throat> Sabi po, <clears throat> but the end of all things is at hand. Therefore, be serious and watchful in your prayers. Hallelujah. Amen. Kami po, excuse me, kami po, kami po sa Acts Church. Kami po dito sa aming ministry. Kami po ay nasa ikaapat na taon na po namin na gumagawa po kami ng Don't Watch Ministry 5.30 in the morning to 6.30 in the, in the morning. Hallelujah. Apat na taon na po yan. Araw-araw po. <coughs> we wake up 5.30 in the morning and uh, we pray up to 6.30 up to 7 o'clock in the morning. We challenge our members 
to wake up early and pray. Amen. Because hindi na po biruan itong nangyayari ho sa atin ngayon. No, hindi na po biruan. <coughs> and even the Bible speak of this. Sabi niya, the end of all things it is at hand. Tignan po ninyo yan sa 1 Peter chapter 4, 7 to 11. But the end of all things is at hand. Therefore, sabi niya, therefore, listen to this, therefore, eh, isi-isi lang muna tayo. No? Isi-isi lang muna. Tapos, eh, pasal-pasal lang. Uh, wala mo lang, ano, wala, paisi-isi lang, pasal-pasal lang. Total, matagal pa yan eh. Pero hindi po yun ang minsahe ni Pablo. Sabi po niya, ni Pedro, sabi po niya, therefore, be serious and watchful in your prayers. You can be the glory. And above all things, have fervent love for one another. For love will cover a multitude of sins. Be hospitable to one another without grumbling. As each one has received a gift, minister <clears throat> to one another. As good stewards of the manifold grace of God. If anyone speak, let him speak as the oracle of God. If anyone ministers, let him do it as with the ability with God supplies. That in all things, God may be glorified through Jesus Christ. To whom belong the glory and the dominion forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah. So, that's a challenge. No? That's a challenge to all of us. Ang sabi niya, in these last days, be watchful and be serious in your prayers. I challenge you, brothers and sisters in the Lord. <clears throat> Alam po ninyo, the most, the most, um, sabihin ko po, yung hindi ho masyadong, um, ano ba ito, popular na ministry sa church school ito ngayon, is yung prayer. Makikita niyo yan, no? kung may meron kayong member na 100, pagdating ng prayer, mas, mas swerte na ho yung may 30 o 20. Na sana ho yung 70. No? Kaya pag dumating si Lord, 20 lang po ang maliligtas. Yung 70, maiiwan. No? Uh, bakit? Kasi ako po, ang measurement ko po ng isang kristyanong talagang masugid, malalim, sincere. Alam po, ako as, as a pastor, Ang isang mission men ko dyan, prayer. No? Tinitignan ko po yung aking mga membro kung gaano sila katindi sa prayer. Pero nakakalungkot po sa amin po, nalulungkot po ako. No? But I thank God, marami na po kaming na-challenge, na influence that we have to really pray. Okay. Jesus Christ Himself, no? <clears throat> nung sa kanyang times ng kanyang uh, agony, anong ginawa niya? nag-imbita siya ng, ng kasama niya para manalangin. No? At doon na, umiyak siya. Umiyak at blood yung, yung bumagsak sa kanyang mga mata. Ang mga prayers natin, wala pa ngang blood eh. No? Mm. Iba nga, wala pa, ng, wala pa ngang luha eh. No? Uh, yung prayer, hindi pa intensified. But brothers and sisters, I would like to challenge you. In our last days ministries today, Christians, our our hours ang ang ano po ang kaligtasan po natin for us to be able to escape what will happen in this coming days is our prayer life kasi po pag prayerful po tayo in strength po in strengthen po ng lord yung ating relationship amen. with god can you say amen to that amen <clears throat> amen amen po ba amen praise the lord so sabi po ng revelation 16:15 behold i am coming as a thief Blessed is he who watches. Can you imagine? And keeps his garments, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. Kaya nga po, mapagpinagpala po ang mga taong very uh, sensitive po na nag-watch this, this time. Kaya po, yan po yung unang challenge ni Pablo kay Timothy. Second po, sorry, huwag ko yung mag-alala, malapit ako matapos. Sabi po ng second, sabi po, endure affliction. No? Endure affliction. Ano po yung affliction dito? Tinignan ko po yan. Us, ang, ang, ang other word used for affliction is diseases, infirmity, disorder, weakness, complaint, sickness. No po? 
Sabi po, we have to endure affliction. Second Timothy chapter three verse ten to eleven. But you have carefully followed my doctrine, manner of life, purpose, faith, the long suffering, the love, the perseverance, the persecution, the afflictions which happened to me at Antioch, Iconium, at Lystra. What persecutions I endured, and out of them all the Lord delivered me. Wow. To Amen. God be the glory. Hallelujah. Paul himself said to Timothy, Timothy, carefully follow my doctrine. Nasunod mo ito, Timothy. <clears throat> Sabi niya, nasundan mo yung aking manner of life. Yung aking purpose of life. Yung aking pananampalataya. Yung aking pagtitiis. Yung aking pag-ibig. Yung aking perseverance. No? Yung mahirap na, mahirap na, nagpatuloy pa rin ako. Sabi niya. Amen. Yung mga persecutions yung mga afflictions na nangyari sa akin sa aking ministry sa Antioch sa Ectium at Lystra what persecutions i endured and out of them all the lord delivered me amen wow. hallelujah alam po niyo brothers and sisters in the lord grabe po i really i really appreciate the life of paul alam po niyo <clears throat> grabe po yung life ni paul hindi pa ho natin naranasan po yung life ni paul wala pa ho tayo sa katiting kay Pablo. Pero marami na po sa atin wala na inatamad na maging Christian, no? Uh, wow, ayaw nang ayaw na ayaw na ng mga persecutions, ng trials, ng problema. Pero I want I want to tell you this brothers and sisters. I believe in these last days it will not be easy. The last days will be difficult. Let's prepare ourselves from the difficult time. Alam po ninyo, ang soldier, ang army, ay tinitrain sila para sa difficult times. To survive. And the Bible says, we are just like soldiers. Amen. Yan po ang sabi ng scripture. Ano ibig sabihin po noon? Alam po ninyo, nung nabasa ko yan, sabi ko, Lord, praise God, I'm a soldier. Pero nung mas maintindihan ko, matindi pala. Ang soldier is trained to survive. No? Ang soldier is trained to, to die. Ayan ang matindi. No? Pag sila humakbang na sa laban, nagpapaalam na sila. Because they don't know if they can come back. Come back pa sa kanilang mga families. Now brothers and sisters, we have to endure afflictions. We have to endure persecutions. We have to endure. Sabi ng Timothy chapter 2-3, You therefore must endure hardship as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. To God be the glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And there is a blessing of enduring afflictions. Amen. Timothy chapter 2 verse 10 to 12 says, Therefore I endure all things for the sake of the elect, that they also may obtain the salvation which is in Christ Jesus with eternal glory. If we endure, we shall also Reign with Him. Amen. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. But brothers and sisters, sinan po natin. Si Pablo, nag-injure po siya for the sake of the elect. No? That they also may obtain the salvation which is Christ Jesus with eternal glory. Alam po nyo, na-realize ko po yan eh. Can you imagine if your pastor ay nag-back out? Can you imagine if you if you see your pastor na nanghihina na and then magpapaalam na sa inyo and they and he will back out. What will happen? Sabi po ni Pablo kay Timothy, sabi niya, Timothy, I endure all things for your sake. I endure all things. Sabi niya, so that you will be saved. I endure everything para sa mga pinili. Parang sinasabi ni Pablo, tinikman ko ng lahat, tinanggap kong lahat ng afflictions para sa ganon, maligtas kayo. Can you imagine? This is the heart of a true leader. Ito yung heart ng isang totoong Kristiyano. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. At ang sabi niya, if we endure, ito po yung pinakamasarap kong uh, enjoy na enjoy ko po. Sabi ko Lord, to God be the glory. 
hindi lang para yung ako'y masaktan, dumaan sa iba't ibang mga persecutions and trials and problems of life. Trials. But sabi ng Lord, yes, you will pass through it. But remember this, if you endure, we shall also reign with Him. Amen. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. When we endure everything, sabi ng Lord, you will reign with me. Hallelujah. You will reign with me. Ngayon po, sinisigaw po natin, Jesus reigns, Jesus reigns, Jesus reigns, Jesus reigns. We declare that always seven times that Jesus reigns. Pero I realize, if I endure, if I endure, ito na po ang sigaw. Hindi na lang po si Jesus Christ ang magre-reign. Kasama po ako ni Jesus Christ na magre-reign. Amen. Within. To Amen. God be the glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And amen. Yan po yung encouragement ko sa inyo. And then, sabi po, do the work of an evangelist. Let, keep, let us keep moving as we do the work of an evangelist. Sabi po sa ibang translation, do, not, do the work of telling the good news. Go on preaching the good news. Let's keep moving preaching the good news or doing the work of an evangelist. Alam po ninyo, I just want to clarify this. Yung work of an evangelist po, hindi po yan para sa talagang evangelista lamang. Mm-hmm. Yung mga mayroong special calling for, for evangelism, evangelism or evangelist. Sa akin po, as I know, is this. All of us who are, all of us who are born again Christians, who believes in the Lord Jesus Christ, saved by His grace, through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, and those who confesses that He is the Lord of our life, we are all called to preach. We are all called to share and testify the goodness of Jesus Christ and His saving power to all sinners. Amen. Sharing your new life in Christ's testimony is evangelism. Mm-hmm. Telling the story, telling stories about your life, how God changed you, Amen. how God blessed you, how God healed you, how God helped you overcome mm-hmm. all your difficulties in life. Every time you share this, that is evangelism. Kaya nga ang sabi ng ating kapatid na si Pablo kay Timothy, huwag kang mapapagod na gawin ang ministry ng isang evangelist. Amen. Ang ibig sabihin lang po ninyo, ang kasimpleng ibig sabihin lang po ninyo, huwag po ninyong ihinto ang pagtatrabaho na ishare yung goodness ng Lord, ishare ang, ang kapangyarihan ng Diyos sa iba nating mga kaibigan. Hallelujah. I want to go to Matthew chapter 10, verse 32. I want, to, I want you to see this very carefully. Sabi ng Matthew 10, 32. Therefore, whoever con- confesses me before men, him I will also confess before my Father, who is in heaven. But whoever denies me before men, him I will also deny before my Father who is in heaven. Amen. Tignan po natin ang scripture na ito with respect to evangelism. Tignan po natin. Sabi ko kanina, when we confess, declare, speak and share, testify about the goodness of God, that's evangelism. Amen. Sabi po ng Matthew 10, when we confess Jesus to men, When we speak about Him to men, when we share to Him, when we share Him to men, when we testify about Him to men, when we do that He will also, sabi niya, when we do that, hallelujah, pag ginawa natin ito, sabi ng, sabi ng Panginoon, He will also confess us to the Father. Mm-hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Can you imagine when we do this, when we confess Him to men before men. Sabi ng Lord, I will confess you before the Father. Sabi ko, Lord, nai-imagine ko habang sinishare ko yung goodness ng Lord. The Lord is good. The Lord blesses people. The Lord heals people. The Lord over, help us overcome everything. Sabi ng Panginoon, pag ginagawa mo yan, sasabihin ko rin sa Father, grabe talaga ito si Pastor Bobo. Grabe ang ginagawa nito sa akin, Ama. 
Grabe ang pagdeklare niya sa akin, sa iba, kung gaano ang kapangyarihan ko ng aking pangalan ay ginagamit niya para ang mga tao ay maligtas. Sabi niya, I will confess you to the Father also. Can you imagine? Pero ang kabila naman noon, ito, ang kabila noon na ito. Pag dininay naman natin siya, but whoever denies me before men, him I will also deny before my Father who is in heaven. Anong application noon? Kalito lang po yan eh. Pag hindi ko kayo nag, nagsasabi, I don't, I, I don't believe that you don't have any experience ng goodness ng Lord. Pag ikaw ay kristyano, hallelujah, Amen. Pag ikaw ay born again, pag ikaw ay kristyano, and you are a disciple of Christ, hindi po ako naniniwala na wala pong nagagawang mabuti ang Diyos sa buhay po natin. Hindi po ako naniniwala na wala po tayong masasabing mabuti na ginawa ng Diyos sa atin. Nakakalungkot po. Maraming Christians po ngayon, hindi nila alam sabihin ang ginawa ng Diyos sa kanilang buhay. Yan po ang nakakalungkot. Matagal na silang kaibigan. Masagal na silang born again na maraming kaibigan pero hindi alam ng kaibigan nila na born again pala sila. Bakit? Kasi hindi nga nagsasalita about the goodness of God. Amen po ba? Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God, hindi po kayo ganun sa Italy. Amen. Praise Amen. Lord. Ano po, hindi po kayo ganun. Deep, nakakalungkot po man sabihin pero marami pong kristyano ganito po. Minsan nga, meron akong tinanong na born again. Eh. Sabi ko sa kanya, kapatid, paano masasabi na ikaw ay ligtas? Alam mo ba kung anong sagot niya sa akin? Kasi po, sinabi ng pastor. <laughs> Imagine. Hindi. Kaya daw sa ligtas dahil sinabi ng pastor. Katagal-tagal ng kristyano. And so, hindi niya, hindi niya alam kung paano niya sasabihin ang goodness ng Lord. Pagka nag-gathering, subukan po ninyo, sa inyong mga God, small gatherings, sabihin natin, to God be the glory, sino ang unang magsishare ng goodness ng Lord? Naku po, mag-aantayan po yan. <laughs> Bakit? Hindi ko alam kung talagang may ginagawa ang Diyos sa kanilang buhay. No? Kaya po ako, sa tuwing, sa tuwing na kami yung nag-gathering, ini-encourage ko po yung aking mga members to speak out, speak the goodness of God. No? Kasi hindi ako naniniwala, pag born na ka, walang goodness ang Lord na ginagawa sa buhay mo. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. At ang nakakalungkot, pagkasira ng mga problema, ang dami sinishare. Hello? Bato-bato sa langit, tamaan mo magagalit. Ano po? Pag sharing time, iyaka na, share na ng mga bigatin, mga problema sa buhay. Pero tanungin mo, ano yung goodness ang Lord na ginawa sa iyo? Walang makasalita. Bakit? Kasi ang lahat ng kanilang nakita, yung mga problema sa buhay. Right. Hello? Pero wala mo niyan sa Italy, alam ko. Praise Amen. Wala ko sa inyo yan. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. My friends, I like to encourage and challenge you, every one of you. I believe this is now the time no po, na kinakilangan po nating ma-declare ang word of God. Hallelujah. Sa time po ng mga Christians, hindi na ako magpapakahaba. Doon po, Preaching, teaching, testifying, sharing good news, good news is a command that we need to follow. This is not a suggested command that we decide to do or not to do. This is a command that needs obedience. Amen. I will repeat. Preaching, teaching, testifying, sharing of good news is a command that we need to follow. This is not a suggested command that we decide to do or not to do. This is a command that needs obedience. Amen. Hallelujah. 2 Timothy chapter 4 verse 2 says, Ipangaral mo ang salita ng Diyos pagsikapan mong gawin iyang napapanahon man o hindi. Preach the word. Be ready in season and out of season. Amen. Convince, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and teaching. Hallelujah. Sana po ganito po yung puso natin. Yung mga Kristiyano po noon, nang sila ay dinisperse, hallelujah, nang sila po ay nagkahiwahiwalay because of persecutions, mm -hmm. hindi po sila nagtago. No? Hindi po sila nagtago. Alam mo ba ninyo, nang sila ay dinisperse, nang sila ay uh, dahil sa persecutions, at iba't ibang lugar sila napunta, grabe yung mga disciples, yung mga believers do that time. 
Hindi mo sila nagtago. Alam mo ginawa nila? Nag-preach sila, nag-preach. No? In, habang sa ibang lugar sila, they started to preach the gospel. Wala akong makakontrol sa kanila. Sabi nga ni Pedro, sino, sino ba ang gusto kong sundin? Ang Diyos ba ang tao? I rather, I, other, I rather follow Christ or follow God than you. Ganun ho katindi ang zealousness ng mga Christians doon. Nakakatuwa ko. Kaya, I believe, ito po yung ating po, magag- let's keep moving. <coughs> Excuse me. Amen. Let's keep moving in this direction. No po, na sinasabi po ni And lastly, sabi po niya, let's fulfill every ministry and calling that God has given us. Sabi niya sa Acts 12:25, and Barnabas and Saul returned from Jerusalem when they had fulfilled their ministry. And they also took with them John, whose surname was Mark. Hallelujah. Sabi niya sa Colossians chapter 4, 16, 17. Now when this epistle is read among you, see that it is read also in the church of Laodiceans, and that you likewise read the epistles from Laodicea, and say to Archippus, take heed to the ministry which you have received in the Lord, that you may fulfill it. Hallelujah. And I will close with this verse in Acts chapter 20, verse 17 to 24. From Miletus, he sent to Ephesus and called for the elders of the church. And when they had come to him, he said to them, You know from the first day that I come to Asia, and what manner I always live among you, serving the Lord with all humility, with many tears and trials which happened to me by the plotting of the Jews. How I kept back nothing that was helpful but proclaim it to you and taught you publicly from house to house, testifying to Jews and also to Greek, repentance toward God and faith toward our Lord Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. And see, now I, now, now I go bound in the Spirit to Jerusalem, not knowing the things that will happen to me there, except that the Holy Spirit testifies in every city, saying that chains and tribulations awaits me. Verse 24, and I will close with this. Sabi po ang ating kapatid, but none of these things, sabi po ni Paul, Amen. but none of these things move me, Amen. nor do I count my life dear to myself so that I may finish, I may fulfill my race with joy and the ministry which I received from the Lord Jesus to testify to the gospel of the grace of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a beautiful challenge of Pablo, of Paul to us. Sabi niya, sabi ng mga kasamaan ko, na akong pumunta sa Jerusalem. Dahil doon, i-chain ka, i-persecute ka. Mm-hmm. Huwag ka nang pumunta doon, Pablo. Sabi nila. Pero sabi niya, this is what the Spirit is telling me. But none of these things move me. Pero walang dag wala na walang nakatingkari naka nakadiskarig sa akin o i mean walang walang nakapigil sa akin para ako ay may mag-move on because i count my life do i count my life dear to me do mahalaga sa akin ang buhay ko sabi ni Pablo sabi niya kaya ako pupunta hindi ako na move sa mga problema i count my life dear to myself sabi niya so that i may finish and fulfill my race with joy. Amen. In the ministry which I received from the Lord Jesus, who testified to the gospel of the grace of God. Mm. Bless you all, my brothers and sisters in the Lord in Italy. I hope and I pray that in this sharing, we are all challenged to keep moving in our Christian life. Ano man po ang mangyari sa atin, tandaan lang po natin, ang Panginoon po, ay pagpapalain tayo sa lahat ng bagay. Mahirap man ang ating daraanan, pero ang sasabihin natin sa Panginoon, Lord, I will fulfill and finish the race with joy that you have given me. Hallelujah! Tayo po yung manalangin. Panginoon, maraming salamat sa iyong salita. Pagpalain mo, Panginoon, ang aking mga kapatid sa Rome at sa ibang bahagi pa ng Italy. Ang aking dalangin, 
Hayaan mo na ang mga salitang ito ay maging kalakasan at pagpapala namin sa aming paglakad bilang mga anak mo, Panginoon. Mm-hmm. Ama, maraming salamat. Sa iyo namin ibinabalik ang papuri at pasasalamat. Basbasan mo, Panginoon, si Pastor Dondo ng kanyang buong pamilya, ang kanyang ministry, kasama lahat ng mga leaders at members ng kanyang simbahan o Diyos doon Amen. o doon sa Italy. Huwag yes. silang pababayaan. Patuloy mo silang takpan ang banal mong dugo, Panginoon. Yes. At hayaan mo na ang Espiritu mo ang siyang gagabay sa kanila araw-araw, Panginoon. At patuloy mo silang bigyan ng encouragement na kayo ang Diyos na hindi sila iiwan at hindi sila pababayaan. Thank you. Panginoon, maraming salamat po. Ang papulit pa sa salamat ay sa lamang po namin ni Binigay. Ito po ang aming dalangin sa matamis na pangalan ng aming Panginoong Isus. Ang lahat po ay magsabi ng Amen. Amen. Amen.